Hello and welcome back to Code with Vinay. In the last video, we saw the basics of methods in Java. Today, we are going to dive into details of function invocation, that is, call by value and call by reference. Understanding these concepts is crucial for writing efficient and bug-free code. So let's get started. Before we begin, let's talk about how methods work in Java. In Java, methods are functions that perform specific tasks. They can take input, which we call parameters, and return output. When we pass parameters to a method, we can do it in two ways, call by value or call by reference. The important point to remember is that in Java, primitives are passed by value and objects are passed by reference. Let me write this for you. So I said that primitives are passed by value and objects are passed by reference. Here when I say primitives, I am referring to primitive data types like char, int, float, etc. And when I say objects, I am referring to instances of a class. First, let's understand call by value. When we pass arguments using call by value, a copy of the value is passed to the method. This means that any changes made to the parameters inside the method do not affect the original values. Let us understand this with the help of an example. So now I'll go up and create a method which will accept a primitive data type. So public static void and we'll call it change value and I'll pass an integer. Let's say integer number. And inside this method, we'll change the value of the number to let's say 1000. Now we'll go to the main method and then we'll create a variable, let's say int x is equal to 5 and then we'll call our method change value and we'll pass x as an argument. And once we return from the function call, I want to print the value of x. So I'll say system.out.println x is equal to x. So here we have a method called change value that takes an integer parameter called number. We are passing the value of 5 to our method change value. Inside the method, we are assigning the value 100 to the number and we are printing the parameter after the function call. Now let's see what happens when we execute this program. So I'll go up and I'll say run Java. And when I run the program, you'll see that x is equal to 5. This is because x was passed by value to the change value method. Any changes made to the number inside the method do not affect the original value of x and it remains 5. The function change value is operating on the copy of the argument rather than the original. And that is the reason we call it call by value. Now let's move on to call by reference. In call by reference, instead of passing a copy of the value, we pass a reference to the memory location where the data is stored. This allows us to modify the original values. In order to call by reference, we need a reference to an object and for an object, we need a class. So let's make a minimal class to understand the concept. So I'll go up and I'll create a class. Let's call it person. And within that person class, we'll have just one property and that is the name. And then we'll go down where we have written objects are passed by reference. And then we'll create an object. So we'll say person P is equal to new person. So we have created an object. And then we'll set a name for this object. We'll say p dot name is equal to let's say winner then we'll create a method change name to accept our person object similar to change value that we created earlier let's create change name so i'll go up i'll say public static void change name 
and then I'll accept a person, let's call it K. And then within the method, I'll change the name. I'll say K dot name is equal to, let's say, Neo. And then we'll go down and call our method change name. So we'll say change name and we'll pass the argument P. And once we return from the function call, we'll print the name to see what is inside. So I'll say P dot name. Now let's summarize this code before I execute it. We have a class called person with a name variable. We also have a method called change name that takes a person object as a parameter and changes its name using the change name method. In the main method, we create a person object named P with the value winner. And then we call the change name method and pass the object P. And the new name, new was set as the name. Finally, we print the person's name on the console. Can you guess what will be printed as the output? Let's run the program. So I'll go up and I'll say run Java. And the output is Neo. So if you guessed Neo, you are right. This is because we passed the reference of the object person to the change name method. Any changes made to the object inside the method will affect the original object outside the method. To summarize, in call by value, a copy of the value is passed and modifications made inside the method do not affect the original value. In call by reference, a reference to the memory location is passed, allowing modifications to the original object. Understanding these concepts is crucial in programming as it helps us handle data efficiently and avoid unexpected behavior in our programs. That's all for today's lesson on call by value and call by reference in Java. I hope you found it helpful. Practice writing code and experiment with different scenarios to solidify your understanding. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Till then, happy coding. Your feedback is valuable to me. I want to make sure that my videos are clear and helpful. You can follow me on the internet on any one or all of these channels.